Okay, so this is a big cherry burl. Uh, as you noticed, I had to trim it up to make it fit on the, in between the bedway and, and the spindle there. I suppose I could have turned it off bed, but um, with as unbalanced as it is, right now I'm only at 350 and you've seen it shake there. Uh, I'm gonna try to get rid of this big chunk of meat right here. This is where my balance is off. See, she'll uh, go back around. So, right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get rid of that big chunk of meat off there. So I'm gonna go this way. Uh, this will most likely be a two-part video because at this speed, it's gonna take me forever to do this. Uh, we do gotta thank Clayton Bink for this. Uh, Clayton comes to Michigan here, and I think he said four times a year. And I can't remember if he brought it with him the last time he was here or the time before. Uh, but it's been sitting here. It was wet. And I think I'm just going to go with it all natural. I couldn't get the bark to bar to, to come off of it. And it's most likely because it was wet. But I kind of want it to be natural and have all its kind of quirks and cracks and stuff in it. So I, I may put some resin in it. I'm not sure what color yet. Probably red to go with the cherry. We'll see. But like I said, I want to get this this big want you know these two big chunks off of here so that we're not so off balance see what I mean stand on it for a second it stops <laughs> so but anyway
if I'm even going to bother putting resin in. I think I'm just going to leave the cracks in it. Uh, the ones that bug me are this one. This one right here, because the pit's still in it. Oh, you can't see it, can you? It'd help if you guys could see. All right, so. <laughs> uh, this one bugs me, because the pit's still in it here. Um, and maybe this one. Uh, but I think if I threw resin in there, it would just ruin the looks of it. So. Uh, I am still going to try to get the bed <laughs> pedestal look out of it. I need to take this piece is so big I can't even put it in the, in the screen. There we go. <laughs> so I do need to take this down some more. Um, I also need to support it with a tailstock. I was trying to get it flat here so that I could work on it. I'm rolling it to 350 I think. Uh, I do need to support it so I can speed it up. I was just trying to get it more balanced. That's the only re what I'm trying to do. But I should probably support that. It's probably my bad because I forgot to do it. Because I was just trying to knock this flat so that it hit flat when I put it in there. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do any resin or not on it, like I said. Um, there's a big crack right through here, too. Down through the center. This is really cool looking, though. Especially all this, like, here. So. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what those are. Rocks in there or something? Looks like rocks growing in it. Bug holes, mineral streaks, all kinds of cool stuff in there. But anyways, let me uh, sharpen some tools because it's beating on them. And I'm sure there's dirt and all this isn't helping anything. So I've had some of this stuff hit me in my face shield already. <laughs> Comes off when you don't want it to. Uh, so I, I'm at a dilemma right now. I think I'm going to cut in further here. And quite possibly set this in resin. Just the bottom. So that, that that's all I have is the wood in the bottom. In, in the resin. And then maybe, you know, maybe match it up to this stuff here. Uh. Uh, copper and blood red, I think. So it looks like it's on flames. I, I you know how I like the flame look. <laughs> but right now with this this lip here, I don't have enough throat for this pedestal anyway. So I think I'm gonna take, keep taking this in, which will most likely get rid of this anyways. But so uh, and that's gonna break off. So <laughs> and probably hit me in my face shield, or it might hit you guys. Yeah, we're at 500 RPM too, finally. See what I tell you? <laughs> Look at that. 
<laughs> I told you it was going to come off. Hit me right in my arm. Bad that makes it look now. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a big chunk missing there, isn't it? I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll try to run this in some more here. Catch that. We'll set this on in the resin. And yeah, I don't I don't I don't want to fill any of this in. Like I said, the only thing that concerns me are these cracks over here. And then on this side also where the, the piff is. So But I think yeah, I think I'm gonna take this in. And that'll get rid of this big hole here. Hopefully I can smooth some of that out a little bit. Possibly come in this way and we'll see, huh? Can I do it? Can I do that? Looks like I can do that, don't it? So since I've clearly got a negative, once this is flipped over the other way, that would be an air pocket. I've mixed up uh, a little bit of two to one slow set and a blood red and a copper penny and a clear. And my intentions are to pour it down in that hole. Now I'm not sure if I like this copper penny yet or not, but that may or may not be seen. And I just don't know. So. I might go to gold later. All right, so here, here, here looks pretty good as she's sloped up this way. I'm happy with that. Uh, I think that I want to try to do this side the same way, lean, lean her back like this, and fill this in so that it, it's it's it, it allow the resin to run out. And you can see, I put that piece that came off back on, and she's a bit bigger. So that's that's how much I've turned off of that but I wanted that back in there to take up some space because that amount of resin without a pressure pot is gonna gonna kind of hurt things I think it'll probably crack so uh, I'm gonna mix up some more resin pour it in here uh, figure out what I'm gonna use for a mold and then I'm gonna set this down in it flat and pour that in in from one side so it runs around and goes through the other side with all the different colors I'm probably going to use gold and not the copper. I like the gold look better. I did it again here. 
Um, this is just a mix of both of them. I was just trying to flatten it out. I don't think I'm going to get to their turning anyways, but the gold and the red look pretty good as they were. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, uh, I think we'll leave it at that for right now. This video is uh, not going to be too long. At least this half isn't. We'll see what the rest looks like. And then, so uh, I do have stickers, but we'll catch that sticker at the end of this. Uh, I'll leave you with some pictures. Uh, you guys have a nice weekend. Give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll catch you next week for the rest of this. And yeah, bye-bye.